After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram. I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me? Seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and, lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And, behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir. But he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad, and said, Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Genesis chapter 15 verses 1 to 6. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal. And Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land. And I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. Joshua chapter 14 verses 6 to 8. And Moses sware on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years. Even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out, and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Joshua chapter 14 verses 9 to 13. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. Psalm chapter 4 verse 5. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Psalm chapter 31 verses 14 to 15. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalm chapter 37 verse 5. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, who does not turn to monsters, nor to those who resort to lies. Psalm chapter 40 verse 5.
but I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever, because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. Psalm chapter 52 verses 8 to 9. A prayer of David. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Psalm chapter 86 verses 1 to 3. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Psalm chapter 91 verses 1 to 5. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Psalm chapter 118 verses 8 to 9. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven, and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth for ever. Psalm chapter 146 verses 3 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. The simple believeth every word, while a smart person thinks about his steps. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 15. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusteth in thee, trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isaiah chapter 26 verses 3 to 4. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run, and not be weary, and they shall walk, and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 verses 29 to 31. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. 
Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 7 to 8. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 24 to 26. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. Then Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, among his relatives, and in his own house. And he could do no mighty deed there, only laying his hands on a few sick people and healing them. And he marveled at their unbelief. He then went around the surrounding villages and taught. Mark chapter 6 verses 4 to 6. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath the dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gn asheth with his teeth, and pinneth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out. And they could not. He answereth him, and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground, and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire, and into the waters, to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us, and help us. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark chapter 9 verses 17 to 23. The boy's father quickly cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the crowd was gathering, he threatened the unclean spirit. Dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. The ghost cried out, lashed it hard, and came out. The boy remained as if dead, so many said he had died. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he stood up. Mark chapter 9 verses 24 to 27. And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke chapter 12 verses 29 to 32. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. John chapter 14 verse 1. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. That your hope may abound by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 15 verse 13.
rejoiced not in iniquity, but rejoiced in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 6 to 7. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart, and such trust have we through Christ to God ward. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 3 to 4. Believing God means trusting in what we hope for and being sure of what we do not see. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 to 6. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all without reservation and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask with confidence and doubt nothing. He who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by a storm. James chapter 1 verses 5 to 6. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. 1 John chapter 3 verses 2 to 3. We have firm confidence in him that he hears us whenever we ask for something in accordance with his will. And if we know that he hears us whenever we ask for something, then we also know that what we have, we have received from him. 1 John chapter 5 verses 14 to 15. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And first John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 4.